Charles Austin Pumps. Now, this company's been going about 70 years. We're going to find out how you can run a machine for 96 hours, a batch run of 10,000, not a problem at all. But first of all, Charles Austin Pumps, well, it's in the name, but what do you actually do? Yeah, we manufacture pumps for uh, different type of industries, from medical, uh, biggest sellers, a condensate pump, for air conditioning. Um, so, yeah, a big variety of pumps we make. Okay, yeah. and very roughly, how many pumps would you manufacture a year, and where are they, where are they going? In the hundreds of thousands, and worldwide, they go around the world. There you go. Pretty impressive stuff. Now, you've got a great machine shop, you've got your mills, you've got your fixed headlights, but this is your first slider. It's your first slider, yeah. Okay. Citizen L20, why? Uh, we bought the Citizen, other people have them who we know. Um, some of the best shops I've been in have Citizen machines. Um, and our old ops manager, he had one at his old company, so it was a no-brainer really to get a Citizen. So. And you used one before? Never, not sliding head, no. Right, okay, so that gives, I mean, I'm thinking straight away that going to cause issues potentially. So, first of all, controls, programming, you've got your Alcart Wizard and Mitsubishi controls. Easy to pick up? Yeah, it's easy to pick up. The training was good. Yeah. Um, Say so we can get on the phone to them if we've got a problem. Um, but yeah, it's, it's easier to pick up than I thought it would be. Um, okay. Yeah. Now, just, uh, we'll come to some of the parts in a minute, but obviously a sliding head lay, but some of the parts are quite short, and I'm thinking that they would afford themselves to a fixed head machining. So why have they actually gone a, a slider? I think it's just the cycle times and the sliding head are that much quicker, with all the tools being so close together, the rapid in, it's less movement to move, and yeah, it's just, and it has got scope for the longer parts if we need it, so. Okay, now also, LFB, it's a unique system for Citizen Syncom machines, but you haven't got that option, why is that? No, we haven't, because we use mainly brass, our job's about 95% brass, um, so we don't need LFB for that. Um, but just done a stainless job and I can see the benefits of LFV. Right, uh, so possibly next machine coming is the LFV. Yeah, it'd be nice, yeah. Okay. Now actually in the envelope itself, obviously driven tooling, you've got the gang. Easy to set, easy to use? Yeah, it's easy to set, it's quite tight on this machine. Um, but yeah, once, once you're in there, you're in there, it's quite easy to do, um, yeah. In terms of the envelope itself, tooling wise, spindle wise, what have you got going on in there? Uh, we've got cross drills, cross taps, um, we haven't really got into the extremes of the machine yet. It's more capable of what, what we're doing, but it's good for the future. You know, our R&D could produce anything any day that will, <laughs> would need some of the tooling that we're not using currently. Right. So. so it's giving you that flexibility? Yeah, it's very flexible. Okay. Now, what was, the, what was the reason you bought this in-house, this machine? We bought the machine because we've grown a lot over the last few years and our subcontractors, um, we're putting more and more their way. Yeah. We're doing less and less here compared to what we're buying in. Right. So, you know, it's a no-brainer to buy a machine and make your own parts in-house, full control. We yeah. can have parts when we want them. If we want 500 parts in the morning, we can have 500 parts in the morning, which keeps our customers happy. You know? so. Now, in terms of the products itself, I mean, let's just talk through a couple of them. I'm going to pick, pick these up here. First of all, now, this part here, just talk me through what's going on with this and how it's helped you and saved your time. Well, this part used to be made on the CMZ machine in uh, several operations. Now we're making it with the, the second spindle. It's coming off finished. And also we're... Just to clarify, the CMZ though is a fixed head machine. It's a fixed head machine. It, you know, we can do 57 mil on that, um, whereas we're limited to 20, 25 mil on the Citizen. Um, but... Um, it's perfect for these jobs though? It's perfect for this sort of job, yeah. So what's actually going on with this job? If you could just talk me through the process of what you've done on it. Well this is a double eccentric, so it's got an offset hole and an offset spigot. This spigot is a 5 micron limit. which 5 microns? 5 microns, yeah, which the machine's holding. You know, it's brilliant. Um, yeah, and they're coming off in one finished, whereas before it's three operations to get to this stage. Right, in terms of cycle time then, I mean obviously excluding the operator intervention and keeping the, act, the tolerances, what sort of time, the cycle time reduced massively? Yeah, we're halving our cycle times or, or better on right. some jobs. Now also, in terms of, I mean, I'm think, well, how many parts do you think you make a year for the company? Cause it, and how many pumps do you make a year? Oh, I'd say in the hundreds of thousands, uh, over, yeah, over 100,000, 200,000 maybe. I'd right, the reason I ask that is because I notice this is stamped. Now previously you were hand stamping all these? Yes, yeah, some were hand stamped, the ones we could, the ones we couldn't weren't stamped. So identifying parts to go into the build was always an issue. Um, so now we're engraving it in seconds and every part's identifiable. So. Again, take another operation out, out of the whole process. Yeah, and that manual element is gone now. So. Yeah. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So that's one part, so that's your five micron. Yeah. Now I mentioned right at the beginning, you, you ran 
well, talk us through this this component batch run and how long you actually ran it for, please. Batch, this was a 10,000 batch, and it's our first job on the machine. Right. So we eased into it, started running it longer at night. So a nice, a nice easy one there. 10,000 is your first job. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice one. Uh, so by the end of the week, we decided we could run all night, and the following Monday, we ran it from the morning until Thursday evening. So about 96 hours with minimal intervention. It's yeah. brilliant. And what sort of tolerance is that holding throughout those four days? Uh, this is a 15 micron limit, so, so even at night you'd come in in the morning, measure one, and they were always mid-limit within a few microns. Four days? For four days, yeah. But what about tooling though? Tooling, I think I changed one tip because they're brass, this, it's quite forgiving material, so. Okay, and what, what have you actually done with it? I mean, just talk me through the, what you actually manufactured here and what you've actually, the process on this part. Well, this is turned, uh, drilled off centre, it's then picked up and um, finished on the back yeah. after the cross drilling, tapping uh, and the engraving. Yeah. And one, yeah, engraving again, but I noticed this, this, uh, this hole here is, is off centre as well, is that right? Yeah, it is off centre. Yeah. Yeah. That's again, no problem in terms of machining on the, on the Citizen no, Syncom. Easy on the machine, yeah. it's, it's all there on the wizard. It's, so having the wizard, the Mitsubishi controls, makes it all nice and simple. Yeah, yeah, very easy to use, uh, easy to program. So, right. yeah. so it is your first Citizen Syncom machine, your first sliding head. Yeah. Overall, then, how have you found it? Yeah, it's been a brilliant machine. Uh, easier to use than I thought it would be. Uh, performing brilliantly. After sales have been good. Apps guys have been great. Couldn't ask for more, really. There you go, the whole package from Citizen Syncom. Thank you very much.